talk a little bit about a horse that creeps, that creeps up on us. Yeah, she likes to creep. And, and so a lot of the horses, when they spooked earlier, they all sort of crept forward, didn't they? Now, what we need to establish is a halt, stand. Because if I can keep her standing, she never has the opportunity to creep up on us. The reason horses creep up, up on us, you've probably been told at times they're pushy or disrespectful. Meh. Most of the times because we're not paying attention. Because I know that I could keep her here in place. So what that means is, if I watch her and I can keep her head where it's at, nose between the shoulder, don't let her you know, lean on the front legs, I could get to this point, right? Or I could, if I had a saddle on a saddle rack, I could keep her in place, walk over, put the pad, put the saddle on, walk away. If I'm not paying attention, though, as soon as I turn my back, she, she creeps, right? So keep her in place. Now, we'll set this distance. Notice the slack. <clears throat> if I turn and walk forward, she needs to keep that distance, calculate this distance. Good. I'm always going back to the halt, though. So if she starts to come forward and she pushes more slack in the rope than this, I go back to the halt and maybe even the backup. But keep that distance in there. Now watch this. I'll just keep her there. I'll say, you stay. Stay. All right? And then I'll go back to this distance. Now, if I'm not paying attention, if I'm not aware, she might creep up on me and she'll lose her mindset. But right now, it's working well, pretty nice. I only backed her up there because she, she did come too far forward. So, so I'm coming back to the halt always. Good. Look at, look, yeah, nice look. Nice expression. Bright expression. Turn. I'm going to keep, I'm going to say, wait a second. Stay there. Stay there. Oh, oh, oh. The words aren't for her, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then turn, walk, halt. Oh, you kind of crept up on me a little bit there. I, I like that she, she doesn't want you to, to really back her that much. And so then it's like, fine, then you keep your distance and I won't, I won't back, back you so much. If you keep your distance, we'll just go slow and easy. That looks nice. Now check out my new distance. So if my rope were longer... It'd be the same, whoop, too far forward, it'd be the same concept there. Now, <clears throat> the reason that we, good job, she looks really nice there. The reason that we lead our horses up close is that's the distance that we're effective with at that moment. But if you can always come to your halt, you can lead at any distance then because mm -hmm. you have the halt. So is it a question of being pushy or is it a question of just not creeping forward, right? Yeah, here you go. Thank you. All right. So, Miss, everybody has a spatial, we have a sort of our spatial bubble, right? A bubble that, uh, depending on who you know, you might let somebody closer or you might not want somebody that close to your bubble. And... The horse has, yeah, right. Apparently, apparently you guys get along pretty good. So, so you're friends, and that's excellent. And horses have this too. But sometimes when we're um, confused, what we do is we let our bubble down. Or sometimes we just don't want our feet to get stepped on. So we close this bubble up, and what happens is we end up drawing the horse to us. So when they're nervous, if they spook and we go, they're going to come to you. But if they spook and you go, you're going to put up a block. You're going to expand that bubble. So now we'll play around with that idea of, of your spatial bubble, okay? And we'll move some, the horse's body parts, the, the shoulder and the haunch and different parts of his body. But notice when I approach, I'll let that bubble down low. But then if I step in, if I want him to look off to the side, I'll get a little taller. And I'll just 
sort of like lift, you'll lift your frontal plane up a little bit and I'll say look over there and then when he gets it, I might fall back to my heels slightly. Now you don't have to totally fall back, but the idea is I'm here, I'm here or I'm here, I'm here. This, this will really correlate to riding. So I'll press in, I'm sort of expanding, inflating that bubble, good fall back. I might bring, think about bringing my life up and bring my bubble a little bit bigger here, have him step over, and then I'll fall back, even if he can't see me. I'm relaxed, all right? Get taller, convey life, bring your life up, good. Let him be. All right? Want to play with that? They fall over. Right. It's crazy. Right, right. right. Because they respond yes. to your energy. Yes, so. definitely. I 100% agree. It is very cool. With horses, we forget about it because we get into a self-preservation state or, oh my gosh, my horse is scared. What do I do? What do I do? And we question a lot. And so now all of a sudden, we're not using that energy. But you have it. You always did. Yeah, exactly. They, they really are perceptive to it. Yeah, right. Looks good.